Hello, my name is Richard Singleton. I'm a golf teaching professional with the United States Golf Teachers Federation. And I'd like to introduce you to a little invention of mine which should help you with your short game. How would you like to take uh, at least 10 strokes off of your game? If you're shooting in the hundreds, how would you like to shoot in the 90s? If you're shooting in the 90s, how would you like to shoot in the 80s? And I would think if you're shooting in the 80s, we could at least take five strokes off your game by the simple use of the golf cheat sheet. The golf cheat sheet is a simple bag tag which you can put on your bag and it will give you uh, the proper swing and the amount of velocity you need to put on the ball in order to have it carry so far in the air and, and how far it will go on the ground. This card will tell you uh, how to get up and down from within a hundred yards. If I were to say to you that for about eight dollars or maybe ten dollars including postage you'd be able to take this many strokes off your golf game you probably wouldn't believe me. You probably would want to go out and buy a new wedge for a hundred and fifty two hundred dollars. You probably uh, would want to take uh, lessons uh, from a professional at forty five to seventy five dollars an hour but really all you have to do is practice in your own backyard using the golf cheat sheet uh... it's very easy to use very easy to read and very easy to understand what i'd like to do now with you is to introduce you to the three swings that are on the golf cheat sheet the gravity chip the medium pitch and the short swing by mastering these three swings and by your choice of clubs, you will be able to control the distance that your, bow go, your ball goes in the air and also know the distance it will go after it hits the ground. Let me first show you the gravity chip. In the gravity chip, we take our hands are held right at the very bottom of the grip. Uh, the ball is placed in the middle of our stance and then there are then then basically all we do is lift the club up no wrists don't put your wrists there's no wrist action in the shot and then you have three shots seven o'clock eight o'clock and nine o'clock seven o'clock eight o'clock and nine o'clock when you're using a pitching wedge as I am right now uh, that seven o'clock shot will go ten yards the eight o'clock shot will go fifteen yards and the nine o'clock shot will go twenty yards so you know precisely how far your ball will go in the air and what kind of swing to put on your ball. Next, let me demonstrate to you uh, the medium pitch shot. The medium pitch shot is very similar to the gravity chip. The only difference is, is we put our hands about halfway up the grip rather than all the way down uh, close to the, the bottom of the grip. Uh, we position the ball in the same way and the only difference in the swing is that we accelerate through the ball a little bit. It would be like this. That's a 9 o'clock. This is an 8 o'clock. And finally, the 7 o'clock swing. We accelerate through the ball uh, and we uh, give a slight amount of momentum uh, to our arms as we go through it. We still try to not break the wrist. When we're using the medium pitch uh, with a pitching wedge, uh, the card tells us that we go about uh, 18 to 19 yards in the air with a 7 o'clock swing. Uh, we go uh, 20, a little over 20 yards 
uh, with an 8 o'clock swing, and we go 35 yards uh, with a 9 o'clock swing. Let me now demonstrate to you uh, the short swing. This is a swing that is uh, focused on accuracy. We're not trying to see how far we can hit a pitching wedge. What we're trying to do is hit uh, the pitching wedge to a precise distance. In this regard, we will have three swings in the uh, th uh, sh three swing angles in the short in the short swing. Uh, the first is the 730 swing, which goes about this. Your arm is pointed to about 730 on the clock. The next swing is the nine o'clock swing, where your arm is straight out. And the third swing is the 1030 swing where you're up to the position of a full swing. Um, I usually don't even recommend that you ever even use a full swing when using a pitching wedge. Um, and it's a smooth, easy swing, ball position in the middle of your feet. And the 730 swing, which goes um, about 43 to 45 yards, is uh, right about here. And the nine o'clock swing, uh, which goes about 60 yards, would be here. And finally, uh, the 1030 swing, which uh, goes about 80 yards, is up to here. This swing is meant to be kept under control. It is not meant uh, for distance. It's meant purely for accuracy. Um, you do not involve the wrist very much in this swing. It's again, um, you, you take the club back. You don't get all wristy with your hands. Um, basically what you do is you take the club back and then bring it through. Uh, the idea is to have uh, a very constant impact a very uh, regular impact and to know precisely how far that ball is going to travel in the air. Up to this point we've been talking primarily about the swings, the three swings, the gravity chip, the medium pitch, and the short swing. However, the card does much more for you than just uh, talk about the swing and how far the ball will go in the air. It also lets you know that un under normal conditions on a flat green when you're chipping uh, and, and pitching and using the medium pitch, how far the ball is going to roll out for you. For instance, the pitching wedge uh, I call a 55-45 club. Basically that means that on a flat green and chipping onto a flat green, if you hit the ball 55% uh, 55 uh, 55, uh, 55 in the air, it's going to roll out to about 45. It's not going to roll out 50-50. Um, of course now if you're on faster greens it may roll out longer. Or if you're on a downhill green it may roll out longer. Or if you're on an uphill green, you, you, so you have to use your judgment um, and, and look at the conditions and uh, so you know how far the ball is going to roll out for you. Um, depending on the situation then you can choose a pitching wedge, a sand wedge, a gap wedge or a lob wedge. They're all on the card. They will tell you how far the ball with what swing, how far the ball will go in the air with what swing. Um, and uh, it will also tell you uh, roughly how far the ball will roll out. This is an opportunity to get control of your short game, to get control of uh, what you're doing when you're within uh, 50 to 100 yards of the green. Um, and when you're off the edge of the green, you will get up and down much more often. Um, you have a basis upon which to make the judgment of the kind of swing that you're going to put on the ball. Um, other than that, uh, most of the folks, unless they have practiced for years and years and years and, and can do this very intuitively, really have no idea uh, how hard uh, to hit a ball when they're in and around a green. Uh, so I suggest uh, that for a mere uh, $7.99 and uh, a couple of dollars of uh, shipping charges, uh, that this will really improve your game. 
I suggest that you uh, check it out. Go online at www.golfcheatsheet.com and you can order uh, your cheat sheet right there. You can order one for yourself, you can order one for your friends, one for your spouses. Um, they will love you once uh, they have used it and once they've practiced using it. Um, they will be, they'll, they will they'll say, well, how come I never knew about this before? You, it's a small uh, tag. It, it can be strapped right onto your bag. The strap is provided um, with the cheat sheet and it will change your game. You'll be able to get up and down a lot more often and you'll feel much more confident around the greens. Uh, thank you very much for your time and uh, I hope you will consider uh, buying this little card which will change your game.